Hey guys, that Welsh here, Nerd here, and today we've got a very long overdue video. A Warhammer Underworlds unboxing, and we're looking at Iron Skulls, boys. This is the last of the initial four Warburns to be released, and we're expecting more in the new year. Now, so we're just going to open this up, and similar to the Skeletons box, You've got a plastic packet inside an empty box. So, the first thing you'll see are sprues. And the Iron Skull boys, the Oryx, the Orcs, they're very bulky, brutish models and sculpted bases again. Uh, this is supposed to follow along the easy to build lines. It's a green, solid plastic, same plastic as a normal Games Workshop miniature, just dyed green. But the detail is all there for what are essentially board game pieces. It's there, they look, and they look like they would go together very easily. And we've also got the second one here, I think that'll be the leader there with his cape. Again though, the detail going into these, I really can't knock it. There's even little scratches on the axe there, as you can see. Um, got a little instruction book. And then two decks here, if I can get them out. So we'll have one deck here, which will include fighters, etc. Um, as well as just some power cards. And then a another set of power cards and objectives will probably be in this deck as well. So we can see the kind of upgrade for Bone Cutter is Brutal Swing, so he, it targets the adjacent square. You're rolling three dice looking for swords and it does two damage on successful attack, but it also hits every enemy fighter. As for the Oryx, they look like they're going to be incredibly durable um, guys. This is Basher, he's one of your typical lower level Orcs. He's got a movement of three, not the fastest, not the slowest. He is rolling one defense dice, looking for shields. This is exactly the same as in the Stormcasts. And he's also got four hit points, which is just as durable as the Stormcast, I do believe. So these guys can take a hit, and as you can see here, they inspire once they've suffered one point of damage. So once the models have been built very quickly, I will show you what the inspired version looks as well as pulling an objective card out just to give you an idea of the Auric playstyle. Um, so after a quick jump cut, these guys will be built and I'll get back to you very quick. And here we've got the fully built Iron Skulls boys. Now these guys went together incredibly easy, it took about 15 minutes. There was no glue involved, only a good old pair of clippers, I didn't file them down or anything. And I'm really happy with how they came out. There's a little bit of gap fill needed, like for example, um, where's the one I'm looking for, there was, like on the shoulders and stuff there. But even then it's going to be something that's easily fixed, and uh, they went together Really simply, there was no fiddling required. They clipped together, and what I thought was incredibly clever, they used different parts to hold different pieces in place. For example, when you put the body onto Basher here, it feels slightly loose. However, when you slot this arm on, the they ho have a hold there on the arm and grip it in place. And then the shoulder blade is big enough to pin the two pieces in place, so it all sticks together incredibly solidly. So, starting with Basher, let's just have a quick look over the models. You've seen them on the sprue, but this is what they look like built. And then we've got Gerzag Iron Skull himself, the boss. Uh, this is an awesome model. I like how the cape is cloaked there, but also pinned up there, just to give him a more intimidating presence. 
It's just a really cool model. Now, objectives. I feel like this one sums up the Orcs perfectly. Punch up your score to glory if you make multiple attacks. And this is what all the Orc objectives and power cards are like. They're all about getting in for a good scrap, but also making so you survive long enough to get there. So there's some like upgrades for range, but once you get into the fight to do as much damage as possible. I say these look like they're going to be one of the strongest warbands to learn. Um, they're a pretty simple playstyle, it seems. Tank damage, uh, kick ass, take names, really. Um, but they're also going to have a strange skill ceiling, I feel like, whereas the undead are going to be a very tricksy faction, going to be really hard to learn to play, but once you do get them, you'll really be good and the Stormcast are simple to play but again there's multiple strategy involved whereas the corn ones are also an incredibly difficult team to learn but once you get the gist of them I think they again are going to be a very powerful one. These guys are going to sit somewhere in the middle you know exactly what you're going to be doing with them you're going to be tanking damage and fighting. Um, so yeah, they're, they're one of the strongest for an early game, I think. So, let's have a look at their fighter cards. We looked at the big boss himself here, which is Gerzag Iron Skull. Now, he's got boss choppers, which have a range of one, so adjacent. They roll two dice looking for hammers, so that's the most common attack attribute on the dice. And they deal free damage on every successful attack action. He also has a movement of three, he has a defense die of one looking for shields, and he has five hit points, which is the most hit points of any standard leader or character in uh, Shades by so far. Now, once he takes one point of damage, or has suffered any damage, he gets inspired, and this flips him to this. Whoops. Now, Boss Choppers, they have no different stats, but they have gained a new ability. You can reroll one dice when this fighter makes this attack action, which is huge in this game, being a success is literally come down to one dice. Um, whereas everything else has stayed the same, so they... And that's something else I've noticed across the rest of the fighter cards. They tend to gain an ability as opposed to powering up. Which, again, it's an interesting change. But yeah, that has been my unboxing and model review of Oryx, uh, the Iron Skulls Boys. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. Um, share this video around to other Shadespire players so they can see what the Orcs are all about. This has been That Welsh Nerd. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one.